In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the most underrated passing concepts in Madden 22 out of the tight Y off formation. I think the tight Y off is really a formation this year that some people have really enjoyed and a lot of people have kind of looked past. I think that this formation offers a lot of versatility this year uh, with the way that compression formations are really, really effective for a lot of different reasons this year. And really, this formation in particular, I think it kind of stretches the definition of what a compression formation is this is a compressed set but as you can see it almost looks and resembles that of a double set and so um, this is a little bit interesting or a little bit of a nuance to this but this is one of my favorite uh, ways to attack Mabel defenses in the game and we're going to be going over one of my favorite plays out of this and that is the play flood drive what's really nice about this uh, formation also is running backs on the right side of the field and that you can attack the whole field I've, I've talked about this a lot but in order for an offensive formation to be effective, you need to be able to attack the whole field. And that means you need certain routes in this formation, such as this deep crosser from PA slot cross, this deep post from flood drive, which we're going to be talking about in just a second, switch wide receiver drag. We, the wheel routes this year are super important. Having those effective routes are really important. And so I wanted to go over this formation. I wanted to go over the play flood drive. This is out of the – you can find this in a lot of playbooks. But I'm in the Cincinnati playbook right now. I think that the Cincinnati playbook can really combine a lot of the most effective passing concepts into one playbook. And if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to consider becoming a Patreon member. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and that's how you get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks, where we break down all of the stuff in detail and walk you step by step through how to have a really effective offense or really effective defense, and we show you how to do it out of about 30 different offenses and defenses that you can check out. And again, $10 gets you access to everything. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down in the description. So the play we're going to be talking about in this video is the play flood drive. And the way that I like to run this play is actually relatively simple. Um, all we're going to do with this is we are going to streak Mike Evans. We're going to block our tight end. This is going to give us a significant uh, amount of pass protection. And then what I like to do with my running back is honestly up to you. It's kind of depending, honestly, on what concept you want to pair with this. You can pair a lot of different things with this. Um, I like to smart route this post. I just like to be a little bit shorter. Uh, but, but what we can do with Johnson here is a couple of different things. We can put him on a slant and run a slant flat combination like with the table route. If we're going to leave him on this dig, my recommendation would be to take your running back and put him on an in route just like this. It's going to create a nice little shallow cross concept that you'll see right here. And what you'll see with this is now you see how open – this post really can get even against a cover three Mabel, even against a 30 yard cloud flat way you beat spot drop zone, at least in my personal opinion, is you want to have routes that get open against get over the top of the deepest zone. And in this year's game, the deepest zone is indeed the 30 yard cloud flat. That's the best zone in the game, or at least the zone that's going to get over the top. Now I want to show you the slant flat. The slant flat combo is really effective because if they're not playing a hard flat coverage, you can absolutely abuse them with this running back route. As you can see right here, this run running back out route is really simple and really effective, and it puts them in a tough position. Now, another thing that I was talking about briefly is I love how this formation um, is really built for a lot of different nuances and things that we can do uh, with our motion. For example, we can take um, Chris Godwin, or not, I'm sorry, not Chris Godwin, we could take Mike Evans, and we could, if we wanted to, put him in motion, um, put either one of these guys in motion. So, for example, we could put Johnson on a flat, we could streak Mike Evans, we could put Johnson on a flat and motion him and put the running back on a wheel. Now we have that short side running back wheel, which is almost impossible to guard this year. Their users on the right side of the field, and now we're attacking them over the top over on this side of the field. This is how you create effective routes, effective combos to be able to absolutely torch every defense in the game. Now I want to shift for just a second and break this concept down and break this play down and show you how this does an absolute incredible job at attacking match coverage and man coverage. We're going to start with match coverage. Match coverage is not exactly a great plan. If you don't know what you're doing running match, I would suggest not running match against compression. Now we do teach you how to run match at a high level 
in my Patreon if you want to learn. But this right here is a really good setup for match. I'm going to show you why. So what you'll see with this is this uh, deep post will out leverage every match zone in the game. And as you can see, he gets across. This is essentially the verticals crossing route against match coverage. It's very interesting to me um, just to understand how good this post route really is and how there'll be three, maybe even four people on him by the time he's done. And you'll see that this thing will get open regardless. Again, as long as you can get time in the pocket to be able to make the throw, that route will beat every single coverage um, in this game. It's very difficult for match coverage to be effective against that. some very specific things that you have to do. Now let's talk about man coverage for just a second. Also against match coverage, you'll have your slant, which I'll show that in just a second, um, or I can come back to that. But what you'll see with this is against man-to-man, -man, we just have a simple slant, and then we have this post. This post will cook, um, absolutely cook man. If you didn't know in this year's game, if you smart route, um, one of the best pro tips that I think I could give you about beating man-to-man -man in this year's game is to smart route your routes. By smart routing your routes, it makes them very good. So my favorite man setup would be something like this. And the reason why is because I already have a smart route, a dig route. I could re-smart route him if I wanted to, and he'd still be very effective. And then I have my running back in route, which is very good against man. And then I've got my deep post. So see here, running back in route. And then I've got that route right there that can get sit down in front of the purple. And then the other thing is, again, their user, we're trying to get their user um, to not go with the deep post. So we've got that nice dig that's going to potentially hold their user over the middle of the field or they're going to have to chase the running back the running back route and so now what this does for our offense though is it leaves them absolutely mismatched over here as you can see that post route is able to be able to beat man to man understanding with your plays how you can get the best bang for your buck and really combining some of these core concepts i think is one of the most important pieces to effective offense in madden if you want to learn more about this stuff and how to really put an offensive scheme together i'd really encourage you to join my patreon page only ten dollars to sign up there's a link in the description below if you would like to check it out thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time